Hi everyone and welcome to today's video and it's going to be on my latest sewing pattern, the Sadie skirt. Sadie skirt is an A-line skirt, sizes 6 to 22. It has three options. So there's the A-line skirt with the side pockets, there's the A-line skirt with the panels and then there's just the A-line skirt without anything extra. Each of the skirt styles you can add the ruffle hem. So with the three options obviously you need to decide which one you're going to go for. So if you choose the one with the side pockets we're going to put the side pockets on. If you're going to do the option with the panels, you would sew the panels together. And then once you've done those stages for those two particular skirts, construction of the skirt is then going to be the same for all three options. Up, adding the waistband, sewing the side seams, adding the zip, and if you want to put the ruffle hem on, it's all the same construction. So the Sadie skirt is a fairly simple make. It, I would say it's recommended for the confident beginner. But through this tutorial, I'm gonna show you step by step how to put it together. So if you've never put an invisible zip in before, or you've never added a waistband before, I'm gonna show you how to do it anyway. So without further ado, let's head on over to the cutting table and make the Sadie skirt. So you need to get your pieces for the Sadie skirt with the pockets and they are marked one, two, three and four. And then you also need the waistband, which is 11 and the ruffle, if you're adding that, which is piece 12. And obviously cut out your pieces and obviously under strict supervision. Don't forget to cut in all your notches. There's notches marked on all the pattern pieces, so just make sure you mark those notches. Just cutting out the pocket bags and the pocket linings. You can use a different fabric for your pocket lining if you want. And again, cut out all those notches. Then I'm gonna take the pins out and then we're gonna start putting the skirt together. First up, we're going to overlock all the pieces. So we're going to overlock the pocket li linings, the pocket bags, and the side seams of all the skirt pieces. Once we've overlocked all the pieces, we're then going to stay stitch along the waistline of the skirt pieces within the seam allowance. So just stay stitch within the seam allowance. This prevents your fabric from stretching out while you're constructing the skirt. This is the same method for all the waistbands because all the waistbands are the same for all the options for the skirt. So we're just going to add some interface, iron on interfacing to the waistband. And the waistband has an unnotched side and a notched side. So we are going to press under one centimetre along the unnotched edge of that waistband. And obviously make sure you've got your notches cut in as well. So that is the unnotched edge that we're going to press under one centimetre. We're going to put that to one side. Next, we're going to take our skirt fronts. And as you can see, there is like a diagonal line going across the front. That is where the pocket is going to be going to. So we're going to cut one centimetre strips of interfacing and iron on the back of the skirt on the wrong side. This just strengthens where the pockets are going to be. And again, we're going to put a centimetre strip of interfacing along the area where the zip's going to go so from the waistband down to the notches on the skirt there's two notches on the back skirt and then next we're going to take our pocket linings and our pocket bags and we're going to attach our pocket linings first onto the front of the skirt there so right sides together matching up the pocket linings you'll see that they have a diagonal line just like the skirt so you just line them up there and we're just going to pin and sew one centimeter seam allowance And then we're just going to press our seam allowances out towards the pocket lining there and then we're just going to understitch a couple of millimetres away from the edge on the pocket line inside. 
and next we're going to fold them over, press those pocket linings underneath the skirt and pin in place and then we're just going to top stitch along the tops there a few millimetres away from the edge. Once we've done that, we've got a lovely neat edge, we're going to turn the skirt over and we're going to now add the pocket bags. So you're going to put the pocket bags right sides on top of the right side of the pocket lining and you're just going to pin through the pocket line in the pocket bags. You're not going to pin through the skirt and you're going to sew all the way down from the top of the pocket bag to the bottom corner. Then you're going to pivot and then stitch up to where the pocket line and pocket bag meets the skirt and stop there. And once we've stitched the pockets together, we're just going to stay stitch along the top of the waistband there and down the sides just to keep the pocket bags in place, ready for the next stage of the skirt. So if you're doing the plain Sadie skirt, this construction is now the same. So you're just going to put your front and pin the sides to the back pieces. And then we're going to sew the side seams one centimetre seam allowance all the way down. Obviously, if you're doing the one with the pockets, just make sure your pockets are tucked in out of the way and you're gonna be sewing through all three, three layers of the pockets there. But the construction is now the same. So once we've stitched that, we're just going to press our seams open and I'm just gonna use my tailor's ham just to press around the curve there of the waist area and the hip area. So press your seams open and do that for both sides. Now then we're going to move on to the panel because the panel skirt obviously is made up of panels so you want seven, eight, nine and ten and choose your fabrics. I'm using two fabrics but you don't have to use two fabrics. You can use one fabric or you could use four fabrics and have a different fabric for each panel. It's entirely up to you. So obviously cut out your pieces and we're just going to construct the skirt, put the panels together and then once we put the panels together then the construction again will be the same for all three skirts. So I'm just cutting out my pieces. And once I've decided which order I'm going to have my fabrics in, I'm also going to add the ruffle to the bottom of the skirt. So I've cut out my pieces for the ruffle. And again, I'm just preparing my waistband the same for all constructions of the skirt. But here I am pinning my ruffle pieces together. There's four pieces that I've cut out and I'm just pinning the short ends together, right sides together, sew them together, overlock the edges and then also overlock one of the long edges. I'm just turning over that overlocked edge to finish off that hem. Next I'm going to put two rows of gathering stitches so I'll set my machine to the longest stitch length and do two rows of gathering stitches all the way along the top of the remaining edge ready for gathering when I attach it to the skirt later on. And again you can see I am overlocking all my pieces for the panel skirt so there's a lot of pieces to overlock but overlock all the pieces down the side seams. Next we're going to construct the skirt and as before we're going to add two strips of iron-on interfacing where the zip is going to go for extra strength. So iron that in place and then we're going to add our panel sections together. So we're going to add the two front panel sections to the front panel. Stitch one centimetre seam allowance and then press the seams open and then I'm going to finish off with some top stitching down all those seams of the panels. And then I'm just going to put the back pieces onto the back pieces of the skirt. Again, just pin them together, stitch at one centimetre seam allowance, press the seams open and then do some top stitching. A 
and then once the front piece is stitched together we're going to place the front piece of the skirt right sides together onto the back pieces of the skirt and sew, pin and sew the side seams one centimetre seam allowance. Well, the construction for the skirt is now the same for all three options so we're going to pin the back seam where the two notches are pin from the top notch all the way down to the hem and we're going to sew one centimeter seam allowance and then we're going to press that seam open ready to insert the waistband and the zip taking our waistband for all option skirts we're going to pin with right sides together the notched edge against the waist edge of the skirt, matching up the notches, pin in place, lining all up neatly and then we're just going to sew the waistband to the skirt right sides together, then we're going to press our waistband with a seam allowance going upwards and then we're ready to insert our zip. So when we're inserting our zip we always have the the right side of the skirt facing and we always open our zip so you open your zip and you're going to flip your zip so you're putting the right side of the zip onto the right side of your skirt so just turn your zip over and line up your zip so the edge the tape edge of the zip goes along the edge of the skirt and the teeth are towards the inside and you have a stopper at the top of your zip just there your little stopper and you're going to place that stopper where the notch is in the middle of your waistband there the center of your waistband so we'll start that again so we've got our zip right side up we've got our skirt right side up we're going to open the zip and we're going to flip the zip so we're putting the right side of the zip onto the right side of the skirt so you're going to flip your zip over and put your zip on to your skirt we're going to line up that zipper stop with the notch which is there so we're just going to line it up there so it ends on the notch there's the notch there so the zipper stop ends there and we're just going to pin our zip to the skirt lining up the tip of the zip with the edge of the skirt and pin all the way down to our second notch which was our zip notch and that's where we're going to stop sewing okay so we've got the first zip the first side of the zip in place so what I'm going to do is going to pull close the zip because I need to line up my seams so I want my seams to match so I'm just going to pop a pin or you can use a piece of chalk or a removable pen so I'm just going to mark my pin so it lines up with the seam so I know this pin will line up with this seam close your zip it all matches up lovely and neat so now I'm just going to open my zip again, leave that pin in place. You can use a pen as well, so you can mark it with a, a, a erasable pen. And now we can open up the zip and we can pin our zip right sides down again. So we're just going to match up that line with the seam line, making sure that the seam allowance is facing up towards the waistband out of the way. I'm just going to pin that zip in place. There's my notch, my zipper stop is just where the notch is. So just pin the rest of the zip, matching up the edge of the zipper tape with the edge of the skirt, right sides together obviously. And we're going to sew this side of the zip. Because we've marked seam line we now have a perfectly matching waistband seam so now we know it's going to be perfectly straight and we can now put the invisible zipper foot on and insert the zip to finish it. So 
so open our zip again and you just have to feed the zipper pull back through the gap there at the bottom it just pops through so you just pull it back so you can open your zip we're going to put the zipper teeth that are on the left side of this tape in the groove of the left side of the zipper foot so you can see it the teeth are in that groove and we can now sew the zip really close to the teeth I'm just going to help the teeth I'm just going to push the teeth slightly to the side ensuring that my seam allowance is facing still upwards into the waistband and I'm just easing the teeth across just slightly over and you can only sew so far so you just keep going until you come to the end and that's it and then we're going to do the same for the other side and we're going to use this side of the groove so let's have a look at see how our zip's gone so obviously we need to close our zip so just just feed your pull back up through okay so there is our invisible zip so it's all in nice and neat and the waistband lines up lovely so next we're going to finish off the waistband and we're going to tuck this out of the way we don't want that so I'll just tuck that out of the way and we're going to fold our waistband down and we're just going to pin the, the fold of the waistband so it lines up with the seam line of the skirt there move the tape out the way and you're lining up the folded edge of your waistband so it lines up with the seam line there and pin and we're just going to sew down from the top to the bottom on both sides Just going to get my turning tool and just turn it through. I'll just close up our zip to make sure it is nice and neat and closes. So I am happy with that. So all we're going to do now is we're going to sew the inside of the waistband down. So we're just going to fold it over so it just goes across your stitching line and pin it in place and you can either hand sew it or you can stitch in the ditch or you can top stitch whichever finish method you want pin all the way around just so it's covering your stitching line and you saw your waistband in place so I'm going to top stitch mine I'm going to top stitch so you can see the white stitching but you can stitch in the ditch it's where you stitch right in that seam there for an invisible stitching method or you can hand sew it from the back and then all that's to finish off on this skirt is to add my ruffle hem if you're not putting the ruffle hem on you would just do your hem. So first things first I'm just going to stitch my waistband. Okay so there is our lovely waistband and I've just done a lovely row of top stitching on mine. So if you are not putting the ruffle on to the hem all you need to do now is add your hem and I just like to overlock the edge and then I would turn up one centimeter and then turn up again another centimeter and top stitch in place but I'm going to be adding the ruffle because I like a ruffle so I'm just going to pull my gathering threads Thank you. 
So that's it for today's tutorial. That's how to make the three options for the Sadie skirt. I hope you enjoy making yours and let me know in the comments box below which version you're making. I love to see what you've made so don't forget to tag me over on Instagram. I'll put the link for the pattern in the box below. All you need to do is download, select your size, print it off and get sewing. Choose a style that suits you and just show off your personality.